By early 1967, the number of American troops deployed in Vietnam had reached nearly 400,000. And as fighting escalated, so too did American and Vietnamese casualties. For the first time in American history, horrific images of fighting were broadcast nightly into living rooms everywhere, and public opinion of the war quickly began to wane. In the streets, there were growing protests, and many artists, in the spirit of protest, employed graphic, popular images with clear messages of political resistance behind them. Carol Summers, a printmaker who worked primarily in lithography and woodcut, was invited along with several other artists to create a portfolio unambiguously titled Artists and Writers Protest the War in Vietnam. For Summers, who generally made colorful, abstracted, cheerful, and apolitical landscape prints. The result was Kill for Peace, named after a 1966 song by the rock band The Fugs. One of the most powerful images in the portfolio, it shows the haunting image of a Vietnamese mother and her two children, clearly marked as targets by the large red X painted over them. In addition, Summers perforated the paper in what appears to be a trail of machine gun bullet holes, a powerful reminder of the civilian casualties in the conflict. It was an emphatic statement of his opposition to an already unpopular war and the civilian toll that it had taken. In other works on the wall nearby, protest may not have been exclusively against the war, but also to larger societal issues. To your left is Big Daddy Paper Doll, part of the series of prints, drawings, and paintings by the first wave feminist artist and activist Mae Stevens, who created the Big Daddy character in the late 1960s. In this work, the gluttonous and phallic Big Daddy figure sits smugly at the center of the print and is surrounded by four distinct costumes or uniforms. Stephen's work is a great example of how some artists in America use pop-inflected images with a powerful political message. Amusing though it may appear, Big Daddy Paper Doll was a scathing indictment of white patriarchal institutions of power, and as a paper doll, the Big Daddy figure, surrounded by different attire, could take the form of executioner, general, policeman, or butcher.